Hello, 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 everyone. Um, welcome to this um, video recording. Uh, where we want to just remind you that um, the timetable for 2023 uh, GCE exam has been published by the Examination Council of Zambia. All right, so we need to know that um, mathematics um, will be written in the month of August. Hello? Okay. So mathematics paper one will be written on a Thursday. 10th of August 2023, which is 4024 slash 1. This is paper 1. Right? And you are going to write in the morning. The time that you need is two hours, like what I've been saying. Then Thursday, I mean the Friday, which is on the 11th. You write mathematics paper two, all right, which is uh, two hours, 30 minutes calculator version. So if you are, you are still <laughs> you are wondering or doubting, please be informed that the timetable is now out, implying that um, the exams shall be conducted as timetables. All right, so in case you are still struggling, you can still join us. Uh, we still have some few slots remaining, so you can still contact us on 0978-56-5876. This is the, my line. Um, 0979- 6738809. This is for Mr. Mbondo. All right. So you can contact us. We'll be glad to help you. We'll be very glad to help you. And we are <coughs> we have every reason to believe that um, you can never go along with these uh, with, with these uh, results. I mean um, the lessons. Okay, so just to emphasize, those are our contact details. So we want to look at um, one question from this paper, which is a um, March paper one of November 2022. Okay, so the question is this one. Solve the equation. The equation is four y squared minus eight y is equal to zero. All right. So there are a lot of methods of solving uh, quadratic equations. There is what we call factorization method. Then we have what we are calling the quadratic formula method. There is also what we are calling completing the square method. Among others, you also have graphical method. Among others. So in this case, which of these then are we supposed to use? All right. Now, especially that it is paper one, and the nature of the equation, which is a quadratic, 
the first thing that should come in your mind is to check if at all you are able to factorize. All right. So by factorizing, we need a common factor first. Well, there are a lot of methods of factorizing. You can check for the common factor. You can look at the numbers, four and eight. What is the highest common factor? It is a four. Then you have what? Y squared and Y, the highest common factor is a Y. So four and four will divide and it will give us a one. Y will divide into Y squared. And we'll get Y minus four into eight. What's the answer? The answer is two. Then Y will divide into Y. Now, that is what we call the zero product. If A dot B is equal to zero, it simply means either A is equal to zero or B is equal to zero, or even both, all right? Implying therefore that, we are going to say this is equal to, because here we are multiplying, we'll say four Y, is equal to zero, or it could be that it is y minus two, which is zero, or even both. All right, so to find y and divide by four and divide by four, your y is equal to zero, so here you can write zero. But then here we can say y is equal to zero plus two. Therefore, y is 2. So y is 2. I hope that is OK. I hope that is fine. That is fine. So that is how you're going to solve that one. Very simple indeed. Very simple indeed. Very simple indeed. Very simple indeed. All right. We can need sample another question. Another question that we can sample. And sample equation on functions. But to, we can easily put it. All right, so given that the function, given that the function, f on x is defined as 3, 3x three plus 1, <clears throat> and g of x is defined as 4x minus 4. Now, what is the inverse of f? The inverse of f in, our, in this case, there are steps that you can take or can even do it direct, but for the sake of others, the first thing is we know that f of x is y because f of x and y are the domains. All right? These are the domains. So meaning that where there is the f of, we can substitute y and say 3x plus 1. Implying therefore that if you solve for x, you make x a subject of the formula, 3x will be equal to y minus one, this becomes a minus. This will therefore imply that dividing by three, both sides, it will be x is equal to y minus one divided by three. So in this case, where there's x, we put the expression for the inverse, all right? And because now there's x here, so we are going to put x minus one divided by three, which is a reversal of this. Right, that's the meaning of an inverse. Good, good. Please join our online platforms. You shall never regret. I think you'll be able to change your story. 
Great, great. Let's look at B. B is the inverse acting on a negative five. We have already defined the inverse, so it means you can check what is happening here. There's X, meaning therefore that where there is this, we put five, negative five. So it will be negative five minus one divided by three. And this shall give us negative six divided by three, implying therefore that the inverse is a negative two. Okay. Um, B. We need a composite function of f and g. This implies that you can write this as f, open bracket, g of what? x. This is what it means. Meaning that you are going to get this function g, you, you choose it in e, f. So this will imply that f g of x is equal to the function uh, f. All right, the function f. The function f is this one, 3x plus 1. Now, you are going to get a whole lot of g, which is... Um, 4x minus 1, you put here where there's x. So you're going to have, where there's x, not 3. 3, open bracket, 4x minus 1, plus 1. The plus 1 is this. All right. So this therefore implies that f of g of x is equal to, so when we distribute, it will be... 12x minus 3 plus 1. This is equal to 12x negative 2. And this is our answer. If you want, you can factorize. What is common here is 2. 2 into 12 is 6x minus 1. All these are correct. And you're good to go. Then you're supposed to indicate your answers here to indicate your answers there. All right, that's all for this presentation. Please subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. Share with your friends. And please join our platforms, our online, online, platforms. All right, ours is simplifying mathematical concepts through effective online platforms as we are in the 21st century. This is our belief that we can try to simplify these concepts using the online platforms. This has been Piri Kamban. Shalom, shalom. Till next time, same place. <clears throat>